I know some of you thought that we were never coming back. And then some of you thought that you were stuck with me. There is no, there is no way that anyone wants to listen to me talk all day. But they will allow me to introduce you to people who can share something really productive and positive and informative to you. So thank you for coming back. And hello to you, Terry, because I see on my big screen over here, Terry's here. Uh, Fadwa is back. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. But let's get to the special person of the hour. And we're going to talk about a number of things. And of course, feel free to jump in as you normally do. Let's get to Laura because Shay Shay's back in the house. Shay Shay's here. Terry's here. Fadwa's here. Thank you, everyone. We need to get to Laura because. We're going to talk a little bit more about what you can do to be a great support to someone that has chronic illness or strengthen yourself and encourage yourself with a good support team. All right. Enough of me. You guys had enough of me. Uh, I'm actually here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so if, sorry. <laughs> if people only knew, but they won't, because I am your protector for this time frame. And then I hand you back to your life. <laughs> you made it. I'm here. Hi, Shay Shay. <laughs> this, I have to tell Thanks you. Thanks for coming back. This was the best fun I've ever had. I never expected this much of fun that I was going to have. I knew I was going to have fun, but this was really good. This was really good. You're, you're welcome, Shay Shay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what we went through to come back for the second time. We'll never tell anyone. We'll never. I will no, never no, tell. Well, I'm going to tell my daughters, my daughters will, my daughter, I have to tell them, because they're going to like, so what happened? <laughs> I, was like, I will tell my daughters, but. What the um, heck? It was one of those. It was one of those. There you go. Hashtag. That's, there's your new hashtag. Hashtag. It was one of those. All right. So, uh, 10 what tips you that you can pass. Yes, okay, yes, please. Yes. Yes, okay, please. I have what I call, um, 10 ways to supercharge your life, um, despite living with chronic illness. Or I'm going to add, because I also help people who um, are living with limitations due to an injury. So I also, okay. I also do that. So first way you can supercharge your life is to live in alignment. So do as you say and say as you do, right? And the biggest source of, I'm going to say, spiritual bankruptcy is, okay. is when you're not living in alignment. Okay. You're just, you're not, you're, you're, you're saying you want to lose weight and then you eat the chocolate cake and then you, you know, it's those kinds of things. So staying okay. in alignment with what you say you want is important um, to be a conscious creator. So don't stand for being a victim. Don't okay. allow things to just happen to you willy nilly floating through life, kind of aimless, right? You know, just whatever you run into. So commit to becoming a conscious creator um, and be yourself, right? And be yourself is like getting to that authentic part of you and really listening to your heart, um, which will inform you of, you know, all your choices and all of the things that you truly want in life, not things you have to do, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have let go of the past. And is that number four or number three? That is number four. And number three was be your number three was be yourself. Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, please. Yep. And um, let go of the past. 
that may be a little bit difficult to do on your own, but it's very necessary. Sometimes there's books that can guide you through it. Um, life coaching, again, is a great source of, and my integrative life coaching style really gets to the inner child work. Um, and it is freeing, I'm telling you. Um, let Number five, right? So if we're always making choices out of fear, um, oh, I better go to that you know, function because everybody's going to talk about me if I don't, you know? So that's a fear-based right. uh, decision. And the mm -hmm. more we can weed those fear-based decisions out and really get to the root of how they developed in ourselves, um, we're going to clear the pathway to live a more fulfilling and joyful life. Um, live in the moment is number nine. So learn how to shut off that monkey mind. I think I talked about that earlier, um, how, you know, the negative chatter or the, the running list of things you have to do, you know, where you have to go, um, and you're thinking three days ahead of yourself. The more you can get control of that monkey mind and l you'll be able to enjoy your present moment and you'll feel really grounded in life. Um, it'll feel, make you feel more connected to life, others, yourself even. Um, and number 10, watch out for unrealistic expectations like perfectionism right? Expecting mm -hmm. things to be and wanting things to be a certain way, you know, and if they're not that certain way, you're unglued or you're, you know, you're distraught or frustrated. So those are yeah. points to really check in on because again, it's another added stress on the body. And when we're at, going to be at our most content and joyful is when we decrease all those stresses. And it's not, you know, deep breathing is a great you know, is, is like the biggest transformational tool that's out there. And we do practice that in my coaching. And it's not the only thing though, right? So there's all different aspects. And so um, I'm going to be dropping in the chat or I don't know if in this chat or after you post it, um, my mindset makeover for people who... Perfect. If they want to, you know, if they're kind of thinking, hmm, you know, how could I benefit for coaching? You know, right, right, right. That will help me. Um, it's just a free guide that'll take them through um, all the mindset shifts that are crucial for them to make, um, for them to like get out of this stuck place, right? So yeah. I'll include that and I'll include my, um, you know, website and, 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 you know, all that mm -hmm. information as well. But, um, can I say, I just wanted to clarify, like, exactly. You, you, you know you're the diva. You don't have to ask permission. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're the diva for the day. So on my platform, that it. means, just do yeah, it. Just you, you go ahead. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Okay, well, so I'm, you know, I help women, I help empower and uplift women who are living with a chronic illness or limitations due to an injury. And okay. they both go together because... You know, they're both disruptive, challenging, and frustrating situations, yes. right? Okay. And my goal, you know, well, first my desire of working with that group is that I've experienced both, right? Um, you know, I had a big uh, chunk of time where I woke up one morning and I couldn't walk. Funny wow. enough, this is part of Lyme disease. Um, I had to postpone my teaching. I had to have a op foot operation. You know, all these things. So I, I understand what those people go through that have had these like slip and falls um, and all of a sudden they can't even walk around the block anymore, right? So, you know, how are they supposed to find the silver lining and, you know, have a positive mindset and I can help them through that. Um, and so, you know, what I really do believe, you know, for not just chronic illness people, or people with injuries, but I believe that when you open your eyes to new perspectives, possibilities, and then your own personal power, you can become a conscious creator of a life that you love living in. 
And really that's the bottom line. You know, it takes opening, I think I talked about this earlier, opening your mind up yeah. to those mm -hmm. possibilities. Um, and, you know, there's hope and possibility are around the corner. You just have to turn the corner. <laughs> right? You just have to decide, you know, there's a lot of people sitting back, you know, well, I'm going to wait this out, you know, and for me, I wasn't going to be that patient person to wait it out and see <laughs> how long I was going to stay miserable. Uh, you know, it just, it, that was me. So I just wanted to kind of lay that out. And I don't, I don't see you being a person that likes to wait. <laughs> well, I'm not <laughs> I'm not, I, you would have seen me before, if you met me early in my life, I was very energetic and I would never stop. Now I feel like I'm a turtle <laughs> compared to that. But well, it's well, all right. It's, I, I'm happy with it. You know, I'm okay with it. She, her gift was being a writer, right? She, okay. she liked to write. All right. And, but she wasn't making time to write. And so, you know, mm -hmm. she, she, she contacts me and she goes, I just realized I can't, I can't say I'm a writer if I'm, if I don't, you know, if I don't mm -hmm. write enough, you know, and, right. and she had this whole idea of a book and she, you know, called me up and she's like, I entered this contest, I'm doing <laughs> it. And, you know, uh, it was a big change, right? Yeah. Because right. there's a lot of sitting back and dreaming, but yeah. it's the action that actually makes it happen. Right. And yeah. I, 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 I have to, I have to a thousand percent agree with you on that because what was the number two? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, living in alignment, extremely important. I'm going to get to back, back to that in a second. I'm going to go uh, back to that one in a moment. But the number two, be conscious, be a conscious creator. In other words, don't be a victim is what you said. Mm -hmm. it, it's it, for me looking at the beautiful tips that you gave us. I'm looking at number one and two. They really unlock number three. Hmm. And once number three comes into play, the number four and number five unleash number six. Mm -hmm. And then once number six, discover your passion, is in play, then it makes it easier for number seven and number eight to breathe. And, and they take on a, a positive impact, uh, creating a vision. They, they lead to being at peace at number nine and being able to live in the moment. Mm -hmm. But what I find really interesting, like the bacon of all the tips, is number 10. Because now, once we've been unleashed, we start to live a life of not having unrealistic expectations of either ourself or people, and we're able to live in the moment. I, I love the way you put them together because they're all interlocked mm -hmm. into reaching a certain point, and that point is, People can, will find us approachable. People will find us enjoyable to be around despite the chronic illness or the challenge. Right. Because, because we're not always throwing it in their face or, or as it were, number two, being a victim. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying this now. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't practice none of this. I right. did, this is my first time <laughs> reading it. But if I, was, if I was making a mathematical equation, then one and two equals three. I mean, I literally would go down and this could be a mathematical mm -hmm. equation mm -hmm. that leads that leads to 10. Uh, I, I just had to get my little soapbox moment in there. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I no, like no. Your observations. <laughs> it just, I'm looking at it and I'm going like, okay, if I don't do one and two, I can never get to three. Right. right. If I put number three as one, it just won't make sense to just be yourself. Okay. What does that mean? I haven't, I need to start living in alignment. And Fadwa asked the question earlier, what does it mean to live in, or, or how do, how do you, I'm looking at the screen over here. How do you live in alignment when everything is controlled by someone else? Well, then you have to take out those four words, controlled by someone else. That's not really true mm -hmm. for growth. Mm -hmm. So well, when, to... when it said, and I'll get back to you, please, with all due respect, Laura, I just want to say okay. she, writes, she writes to you, how do you live in alignment when everything is controlled by someone else? Because the simplest things aren't possible to do anymore. We need to kind of unpack that, right? If that was your client, and I hate to be using her as an example, mm -hmm. let's say I said that. How would you approach that if I'm telling you, well, everything is controlled by someone else? How would you start with, with me? Well, How could you help me? I would look at it as 
So and it's, it's going to sound harsh and it's not meant to be harsh, but it's an, it's an excuse because you have a choice of being, of being in the presence of that person, right? Who's controlling you. Right. Okay. I get what you're yeah. saying. Right. Yep. Right. So, you know, you just have to break it down, you know, into, um, you know, if this is what you're going to accept in your life, then you, and, and, and you know, I mean, I, I'm, I, I, I don't want to get into like, you know, um, we, we don't have all the facts. Right. Right. I don't have all the facts. Right. So I can't really say, but it's, but I have to go back to something you said in the previous segment. You talked about having, I got it right here. It says a person has to have, as it were, quiet time, as it were, or they have to sit quietly to kind of clear out things that are, that they need to clear out. Uh, you talked about now getting maybe people that they need to move away from. That can be kind of hard for people to swallow, though, sometimes, right? Well, and that's why there's the pre-work. <laughs> I mean, that's the, that, I mean, that's like, you know. Down the road. Someone who's down outside of the situation can say, right? That's right, right, right. And right. I get that. And so, you know, in a coaching situation, you're you're unpacking, like, you know, you're looking at your beliefs because there's a right. belief attached to to this situation that you're in, right? And, and even so, the state, and even the statement too. There's a belief attached to the statement that they need to maybe, as you said in the first segment, readjust then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and it. it's a, yes, and and it's about you know, well, it's about empowerment, you know, and and okay. gaining your power back because that when you're not able to when decisions are being made for you and you're not able to have any control that's yeah. lack of of power you know you you don't have any power in the situation so working with someone to build up your courage and your empowerment so that you right. see yourself R got it mm -hmm. got it that's what's got going it. to like have let you sit in your situation and with your knowledge and your truth, make yeah. decisions that are right for you. Not someone else. Like I right. would never like say, you know, do this. Would, that's do not my that. end goal. It'll not be yeah. in that situation. You know, it's right. easier right. to say. It's kind of like when someone said to me when I'm telling them about the doctors that you know uh -huh. couldn't find you know anything to cure me at one point, and I was like, uh. And, you know, my friend goes, oh, you just have to be positive and look on the bright side. Right, and I was right, like, right, right, yeah, right. it's a lot yeah. easier. Than, you know, I <laughs> yeah. mean, so, you know, that's yeah. the empathy. I do well, understand that we're in situations yeah. that, you know, no one's given us the playbook on these things, right? We weren't born and then we were handed, okay, this happens when you're in a divorce. This is what happens right. when, yeah. you know, you get a car. You, you get Lyme disease. This is what happens when you get fibromyalgia. This is, right. Right. Because we, right. we, we come into life positive, you know. We don't yeah. want to think of all the bad things that are going to no. happen. And no. that's not Absolutely. on our radar, yeah. you know. Be careful so, with that. Uh, I've got know, so many show notes here. Uh, and yeah, got so and many. we didn't even cover, you know. No. All of, like, what you think is your reality and all of that. For a podcast. So, yeah. uh, but uh, show, she will bring more content uh, and we will talk a little bit more because a lot of things that you're talking about here, Laura, can be applied even if a person doesn't have chronic illness. That's what I find intriguing about it. When you started talking, I went like, and I could use that. Let me write that down. <laughs> I was like, I'm writing it down. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's universal pretty much. If you want to live your best life, it's universal yeah. concepts. Yeah. Yeah, the show. So okay. thank you everyone again. Thank you for watching. I've turned back to this camera over here and thank you, Laura, for being an outstandingly magnificent woman who, uh, you just give me a lot to think about and I appreciate you so much and admire you for your strength and your wisdom. Um, everybody, a uh, few are joining in. Uh, hello to you, but we have to go for now. We're leaving. All right. <laughs> so we're leaving. <laughs> we love you, but we got to go. So, so bye for now, Laura. I'll talk to you soon. And that please w make sure to drop those show notes. Everybody's going to be looking for them. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank bye, you. Laura. Thank you so much.